All right, we're going to do a crash course real quick, meant as a review, not as an initial lesson. Um, going to try to keep it under three, three minutes or less. I'm going to hit the big ideas, maybe a couple of tips and shortcuts to make it easy for you. So let's get started. We're going to be talking about similar triangles. Not so much in determining how they're similar, but um, the find, using similarity and scale factor to find missing parts and pieces, okay? So first of all, similar triangles. Um, Corresponding angles are going to be congruent, that symbol means congruent, and corresponding sides are going to be proportional. Now, determining what's corresponding can be kind of tricky, right? So, what's corresponding means relatively the same spot. So, my left hand would be corresponding to your left hand regardless of which way we're facing. So, like here, um, turns out A is the same as A, right? But uh, angle B and angle D would be corresponding because if you look at the big triangle right here, ABC, um, opposite of the longest side, 20, is B, and look at the smaller triangle, right, ADE, opposite of the uh, longest side, which is Y, is, is D. These two are corresponding. Now here you can see that these are parallel lines. These would be corresponding angles for those parallel lines, but they're also corresponding angles for the two triangles. All right, now, the way the notation, uh, angle ACB is, is similar to triangle, sorry, I said angle, Triangle ACB is similar to triangle AED. Now the order of the letters matters, see? Angle B and angle D, they are congruent, just like we just said. Um, looking at this also, you can see angle C would be congruent to angle E. See those two triangles would be congruent. All right, so uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use um, these, this consequence right here. Corresponding, corresponding sides are proportional to solve for X and to solve for Y. Now, one thing you got to remember is that proportions are equal ratios, and a ratio compares two things. So that's what we're going to set up. Okay, a little pro tip for you right here. Um, you could do the ratio of the big over the small, or the small over the big, but the thing that makes it easy is if you put the unknown portion on top. So like, when we solve for x, that's part of the big triangle, we're going to put that on top. What's corresponding to x is 5, right? So like, we're going to do x over 5, is course is going to be equal to, because they're proportional, to 13 over 7. Now that can be hard to see, so my other pro tip for you is if you sketch the two triangles separately and then label them all. So my big triangle, ABC, see the, the bottom side? Sorry, I wrote 10. It's 20, right? From here to here is 20. Um, this side is X, this side is 13, it's 6 and 7, it's 13. Whereas the small triangle right here, 7, 5, and Y are the distances, okay? So here we can see that, that this side right here is corresponding to that side right there. So I made the ratio and it's equal to 7 over 13, 13 over 7 because I put the big on top. Big on top, small on bottom. And the reason I did that, solving for something in the big triangle. So all I have to do here is multiply both sides by 5, right? x equals, that would be 65 over 7. You can put that in a calculator. You can make it a mixed number. It depends on the context, right? Now here, here I'm going to solve for y. y is on the small triangle. So I'm going to put the y on top, which means I have to make my ratio so this, um, over here, so the small portion, the small triangle is on top of the big one. So y over 20 is equal to 7 over 13. All i got to do is multiply both sides by 20, 140 over 13. I have to, you know, plug that in a calculator, get a decimal, whatever I need to do. Anyway, uh, it's kind of a big topic for three minutes. I went over. I'm close to four. Um, please leave me questions or comments. If you found it helpful, click like and uh, subscribe for more videos. Thank you and have a good day.